everybody, I'm JC. This is my living room. I'm out of the studio today working on getting this sofa cleaned and I thought I'd take you along with me. It's kind of dreary outside and I'd rather not be upstairs in my, in my studio. So we got our coffee and I'm going to show you how to rehab a, not really rehab, just sort of maintain and restore and keep happy a full grain leather sofa. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is a full grain leather sofa, and here's the products I'm going to be using today. They are both by Leather Honey, not sponsored, just really good products. I know I've got the little oil here from having used it um, so many times, but as you'll see, my before picture here is everything's getting a little dried out, a little sad. I've got some darkened areas that I need to clean, and we're going to get this we're gonna get this guy in shape. I will be using the Leather Honey Cleaner. It's uh, two tablespoons of the Leather Honey with one cup of water mixed up in a bowl. Uh, I'll show you how this works. It's pretty straightforward and the leather comes out looking great. Um, first step is to vacuum, which I've already done. I've already taken down into the crevices and uh, vacuumed out down here as best I can to get all of the junk off it. So now remove the cushions. And uh, this particular stuff is, leather honey is really interesting. It's water and mixed with a solution and it works really well, but don't oversaturate your leather. You can get it wet for sure, but don't oversaturate it. So you're just going to dampen a lint-free cloth and you're going to lightly just gonna rub like so. That's it. Um, it takes a little while. You're going to be doing some uh, scrubbing, but it's worth it. It's got to get it nice and clean. And now we're just going to let everything thoroughly air dry, and then we're going to go back through and condition it really well and get it all nice and shiny and lustrous again. So it's looking a little dull and dry right now. That's fine. That's what happens after you clean it, but it'll, uh, it'll be better. This stuff is very thick. It's almost the viscosity of honey when it first comes out. So I have microwaved this um, very gently, 10 or 15 seconds at a time until it's barely warm. But what that has done is it has made it much thinner. So it just spreads a lot easier. So I'm gonna start here on the back of this cushion. On the back of this cushion where it's not gonna show, I did this just to show you what not to do. You are not going to take the product and just pour it on the leather and then try to rub it in because you're going to end up with it very concentrated in, in a line of wherever you dropped it and there's no way to buff that in. So you need to put it on the cloth first and then apply it in a circular motion in order to, to avoid these uh, darker patches.
I've covered every square inch of this, including the back and the sides. And I wanted to point out that you only need a little bit of this leather honey. I used maybe an eighth of a bottle, two to three tablespoons at the very most for the entire sofa. And I did the back and the sides and absolutely everything. So please go very, very light on it and then let it dry for at least two hours, preferably overnight. Well, that's how I clean my leather sofa. It was just a maintenance clean this time. There was not a huge dramatic result, but it really does a nice job of getting off all the grime and kind of adding a nice luster. So I hope you try it and uh, let me know how it goes. Bye.